Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Lego City set. It is set number 60160 and it is just called uh, the Jungle Mobile Lab. Uh, so this comes with 426 pieces and four minifigs. Uh, so the recommended retail price is £40 in the UK or $60, um, which I think is quite pricey. So I managed to pick this up for £26.66 at the Entertainer. And I think that's about right uh, for what you get. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay £40 for it. Not that I think it's a bad set. Um, I just think that's a bit pricey. So maybe 30 or yeah, like 32 99 something like that. I think this is kind of fair. Um, so keep an eye out. Entertainer, Amazon, other places like that. You'll probably get it discounted. And so, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the pricing. Um... Aside from that, generally I, I like the set. You can see here the box, uh, you get a nice number of bits and pieces and it ties in well with the other jungle sets. And yeah, there's some bits inside uh, the big mobile lab that I'll show you that do tie in with uh, the big city jungle set, which I do have, but I haven't built yet, which includes, um, I can't remember exactly how many, but I know you get a couple of vehicles, um, a few animals, and obviously the, the crash plane, which is kind of the theme tying these jungle sets together. And basically, well, the story I gather from these sets is that these guys are looking for the crash plane. And um, yeah, so that's kind of it as a <laughs> to give you a bit of a, a brief history of it. So there is the set made up. Uh, back of the box just shows you a close up of some of the bits and pieces you get, some of the features of the set. Um, yeah, you, nasty sticker that the entertainer put on it, which annoys me, but never mind. And. Yeah, there we are. That's it for the box. So let's have a look. Oh, let's move that out of the way. Yeah, let's have a, a better look at the set itself. Um, apologies for the lighting. I'm in a different room, but hopefully you can see it clear enough. Uh, so the minifigs that you get, they don't actually have names, so you can name them yourself. Uh, so they just go by Female Explorer. So we might as well look at the minifigs now as we go along. Oh, where's the light gone? There we go. So yeah, so you have Female Explorer. So she comes with a machete. Um, yeah, just plain blue legs, but her torso is pretty good. Comes with a little Explorer bag and some nice printing on the back. So water bottle and a walkie-talkie. Uh, just the one face, but I think that's fine. And if the camera will stop focusing on other things, that would be helpful. So yeah, she looks good. Uh, then you also get Male Explorer. So he's currently um, in the, I was going to say canoe, kayak. So just your basic, one in red, same as all the others. Uh, little camera mounted on top, so not much more to say there really. This is, yeah, what you get in other, other sets, just in nice bright red. Uh, so here is the male explorer. So let's get rid of that. So yeah, he's got his life jacket on, so let me remove that and you can have a look at his torso. So again, just the one face. But I think that's I think that's fine for these kind of sets. I don't think a uh, second face adds a huge amount. So again, just the plain blue legs, um, but good torso. All these supplies and ropes and everything else he's got with him. So he looks pretty good. Uh, and then we have the uh, scientist. So he's got a nice compass and a camera. And yeah, just his uh, glasses or sunglasses that he has there. He has a second face. So he has the kind of scared, scared face. Sweating and panicking a lot kind of face. And, and then finally we have a mechanic. So he's got some nice grease on his on his vest. Uh, comes with a nice tool to fix the truck. Uh, just the one face, and you can see he's got like a wrench in his back pocket. So yeah, I think they're all they're all perfectly fine for this set. Pretty good. Quite happy with those. Nope. Uh, then we have another little uh, a little small build. We'll look at that. So you may have seen this in other sets, but it's the nice Venus flytrap, which with this elastic band gives you this nice snapping and also reveals the 
the scary red spider inside. So yeah, Logan loves doing this about a hundred times in a row, which I'm sure will drive some people crazy. But I think that's quite a good little, a good little build. Very good for a jungle set. Uh, so what should we do next? Will we do the truck or the the kind of waterfall? Um, let's go for the truck. I guess that's the main the main kind of feature of the set. But we'll look at that now. Uh, let's remove the camera stand so I can get a better a better look inside. Uh, so the truck itself is pretty decent. Um, a lot of the pieces in the set go into making this. And was it? Put a minifig next to it. You can see that it's pretty pretty decent size. Um, can't really complain about that. Has a few stickers like these, but not too many, which I think do add to it. And this is kind of like the emblem of these jungle sets for a lot of the vehicles. And they all come in this kind of yellow thing, which I actually really like. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, I like I like this truck. I think it looks pretty pretty decent, pretty appropriate for like a big explorer's truck. So you remove the whole top section. And inside you have the two seats in blue. And the steering wheel, just about see, and that's about it. There's no, there's no console or any other kind of printed pieces. That's it. That's what you get for this. Um, so that's perfectly fine. A couple of guys in there, and then you have plenty of space in the back, which I'll open shortly. Um, on the back, looks very nice. You've got a kind of connection point here if you want to combine this with other sets to pull other vehicles along. Uh, that's the space for the mechanic to put his wrench, or you could put machete there, or any other bits you've got really. Uh, then you have oh, so a couple of storage bits here, so you can put in uh, the scientist camera and the compass. Store those away safely so you don't misplace those. So that's all quite useful. A couple of stickers up top. Then if we open up the top and then also open up the side so you can see lots of room inside um, you've got um, I think it's all yep as far as I can remember it's all all stickers on these consoles but I think they're fine and I think they're actually very good they add quite a lot to the set and it's quite a nice little little lab inside and I think this sticker in particular is very good so you can see up in the top corner is the crash plane that everyone's looking for in these sets with some kind of different coordinates. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. I like it. And it perfectly kind of ties these sets in with the other ones. I think for that reason, it's pretty good. Uh, decent amount of floor space, so you can put two or three minifigs in there. I'm sure you could actually, if you wanted to store this set without having the minifigs sat on top, you could easily fit all four of them in this back section without even using this, so without using the front. So that's pretty good. Plenty of space to add in some additional figures of your own. And it all closes up nicely. So aside from having to pull off the top section to put them in the seats, I think the back is very good. Um, a lot easier for kids to play with. You don't have to take anything off that's kind of half fixed on. It all just opens up very nicely. And you can just open up the side. So yeah, all in all, I think that's a pretty, pretty decent truck. Uh, and then we have this nice piece here, which is like a, uh, a waterfall build with a temple. Um, it has this leaf that moves. Uh, so that's obviously to keep the treasure hidden. You've got some nice steps leading up to it uh, with some, some vegetation overgrowing it. So it looks it looks pretty nice. The only thing I'd say would be good if it was bigger, but then obviously it costs a lot more. Um, but I just, I think it looks, it looks very nice. That's why I'd like it to be bigger. I think it looks good. It's a good kind of, yeah. Good bit to play with, fits in nicely with the theme. So you can just move that to get to the treasure. Uh, and then another good thing, which is the thing that <laughs> Logan likes the most about this set, uh, you can stand a person here. Uh, and then you have the crocodile that pops out through the waterfall. Yeah, so let's try and get a, yeah. So yeah, he loves, he loves doing this. The waterfall is just a kind of very, um, the thin plasticky material that you get on some other sets, like sails on some of the Ninjago things. Um, but the crocodile comes through very nicely. And obviously if you do have a, you can have a character that's mid jump getting across these rocks. And um, let me see if I can stand him, stand him loosely. Oh, can you please stand up? There we go, stand him up in the water. And then the uh, crocodile can bust through. 
a bit trickier to do with the one hand. Um, I'm not using the camera tripod anyway. But yeah, you get the idea. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'll show you the back while I reposition the crocodile. So this is the uh, little the little build that he sits on. Um, crocodile's pretty good. So it's standard crocodile, you get in other sets. Uh, you can move the tail and you can open the mouth. And so he sits. Oh, so he sits on there. And then you push this piece, and ideally he will knock the man over. But he's he's flicked off again. I think the man's standing up too strong. But anyway, you get the idea. Plenty of it's a good feature to play with if you're not doing it one-handed. You can have people jumping across the crocodile up and down and so on. So yeah, Logan. Logan enjoys this feature. So, it works perfectly fine if you do it properly and not do it terribly like how I'm doing it. So that's it for all the bits in this set. Um, I don't think there's anything else really to show you. I would say, as I said at the beginning, for full price I'd say it's not so good. Um, but if you get it for the kind of price I paid, so around between 25 and 30, I think that's more reasonable and then it makes it a pretty decent set. So but yeah, that's it for me. Uh, sorry for the poor, the poor, uh, poor usage of the crocodile. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's how it's meant to work when you do it properly. Right, thanks for watching and I will talk to you again soon.